All right, good evening, everybody. David E. Taylor, you're a lion sack of shit. Michelle, you're a lion sack of shit. And we're going to pick up on the deposition where we left off. This is going to be part three, breaking it down into three parts, guys, just because it's so much. Um, I'm just, just breaking it down into hour videos. So going to do a couple shout outs. Irie Dread, I'm reading your comments. Thank you. Daniel Cooper commented, greetings from Birmingham, England. David, again, people are watching us from around the world, dude. You think it's just us in America that's watching your shit show? It's not. Birmingham, England. Daniel Cooper. <clears throat> well done to all who are involved in what you're doing. Exposing this wicked crook in his organization and as a result, hopefully saving the vulnerable. That's what we're trying to do. If, any, if anyone is doing God's work, it's you. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Thank you for watching the channel. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, guys. Um, follow our Facebook page. We have a lot of content there as well. And um, we try to keep everybody updated here daily as much as possible on David to prevent him from continuing his scam, harming families, uh, breaking apart families, which he is actively doing right now. Um, so thank you to everybody out there who's watching the channel. Callie Rios, I was tuning into you earlier too. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe he's trying to take make as much money as he can because he knows he's going to prison. So he'll put money in, off, in an offshore account, do his time and come out still having money. I'm sure if he gets convicted, he won't get much time. Just, just a thought, what's up full frontal exposure? What I think is he's shuffling assets around to prevent him from having to pay anything in the Harold Lewis case. Also, I wanna give a huge shout out too to, to Pocket Watching with JT. He did, he is, he is an, an accountant, David, Mind you, your deposition, look what it's done. You have, we have a, a certified accountant coming on, calling out your tax return and saying what's wrong with it. So thank you for that, sir. I want to say thank you. The channel is Pocket Watching with, um, let me see. It's Pocket Watching with JT. Uh, it's all about teaching smart money tips through humor, sports, and entertainment to help you think like an accountant, real accountant react. So what this gentleman does is he go, he's done a lot of these He's peeled apart a lot of people already, which is, and he's certified. He's a, a financial advisor and certified tax accountant, I believe is what he is. So David, this guy picked apart your tax and you, Michelle, and you. So again, I'll get into the deposition. David, again, this, your deposition is being peeled apart now. Okay, so here we go. And what are you referencing? The, the uh, ledger today. I think they're going over the bank documents right now. And guys, I'm working on setting up a different uh, broadcasting area, so be patient with me, okay? For now, this is going to have to work, but I'm working on setting up a studio. Another August 1st, 2013, $100. Um... Then it says August 2nd, 2013, Lamar Cena McDonald, Destiny's hair, $50. So you're paying for do your daughter's hair to get done, which is the daughter that you beat with a belt. No, Would that be your daughter, Destiny? Um, okay, how do you know it's not your daughter? Destiny, you didn't know that you were fucking paying to get her hair done? Okay, another lie, David. You're, you're saying you don't know anything about the funds. David, you know every dollar that comes into this place. You have a Bitcoin account, too. And usually Bitcoin, guys, I've heard good and bad things about it. Usually Bitcoin is traded on the dark web. So, again, David, if you're doing drugs, this is a good place you're probably getting it. On the dark web, using cryptocurrency that's untraceable. Um, that's her name, but I don't know why is that written like that. Does the ministry pay for her hair to be done? No. I pay for all expenses out of my own personal income. should be paying to get your hair done, man. Oh. It looks like you have so been, though. Know. Oh, that's there. Um, is that ministry money flow or is that personal? So it's JMMI. Oh, okay, right in corner. Is that my personal life? Your whole scam, David, is just beyond anything I've ever seen, it's man. On the same page as so and it's funny, some of the other comments so here that people are reading that are leaving. This is not ministry. Okay, on, the, on that same page <laughs> that I'm referencing, page two. Okay. On July 23rd, 2013, it says Lamar C. Erica McDonald Walters, Lewis I got, I'll read your comment here in a second. That was ministry. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't know exactly what you got. Famous line coming up. So this 
If you look at page two. Yes, obviously. Okay, and look at. I want to be accurate July for you. Here it comes, guys. Thirteen. Yes. And it says La Marcia McDonald monthly safe savings three thousand five hundred sixty-seven dollars and two cents. Yes, this. That's this, ministry, this, is it not? No, 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 no. Oh, it's not ministry. No, no. I thought. I'm sorry. Like I said, you. I didn't know you were coming from this personal document. I thought it was a ministry thing. Well, isn't that talking. ministry? There's all the bank statements. I wish I had a hold of those. If anybody out there has those, can I have them, please? I would love to have my hands on those. I know who has it, but I'm sure I won't get them. Let me ask the question, okay? I referenced July 23, 2013, La Marcia McDonald's monthly safe savings, and you testified. Erica Walters, why the hell hasn't he been convicted of fraud yet? How is the court asking for records and not getting them via direct subpoena to the banks? Even if the acts, accounts were closed, the bank has to give them via subpoena. Absolutely right. The bank, has to, the bank has to give these up. This is a legal subpoena from the judge saying, you have to give us these documents by law. We're, this is a court case, David. You are in a court case right now. And again, he's Erica Walters, he's been moving assets around probably for the last year or two. I found all the documents within the interagencies. He's moving assets around. He's done quick claim deeds. He only has the Victory Way Lane apartment in his name. The mansion that they just bought cash is actually in Joseph and Michelle's name. And it was paid cash because what, what they did with this, with this purchase, again, they paid cash. They, couldn't, they wouldn't even try to get a bank loan. So they apparently had 1.4 million cash laying around because they ended up aggravating the seller by not meeting deadlines, right? The two checks, two earnest money checks bounced, okay? Two checks bounced in the process of them purchasing this house. The seller said, no way, come back with cashier's checks or cash, and then we'll do the deal. On top of that, the seller added a 50,000 aggravation fee, okay, to them. So, David, I know what's going on. Um, and yes, you're absolutely right. This, these, these documents are being legally subpoenaed. And David, David is not supplying them. I think, how, I think is what's happening is the judge is subpoenaing David to give him the documents, but he's not doing it. He needs to, he needs to subpoena the bank directly, you know, and I, you're dead on. How the fuck has he not been convicted of fraud yet? The fraud has been picked apart. Again, the real accountant reacts that I was just talking about. This guy is a brilliant accountant and he went through and both you and Michelle, David, he went through and said, you guys are both wrong. The way you guys did your taxes, like it's some real weird shady crap going on. There really is guys. And the fact that we had a certified tax accountant pick it apart, David, you can't beat that, dude. That that was money from the ministry that went into a savings so you could build Again, I want to say thank you, uh, real accountant, for picking that apart. So that is on Y'all check out the videos, too. They're awesome. It was great. It was comedy. It really was. JMMI in the corner. Well, let's be clear that this JMMI in the corner was produced by my office. This, the JMMI was something that we put on there to reference for our retrieval. Okay. You know, it says personal yesterday. So, so now that I know it's personal, now I can address this more accurately. Accurately. David's wrong. accurate, not accurate. Account accurate. We save money in our ministry, but I also have a personal account that any money that comes to me, I put aside a certain amount each month. You're lying, David. You just blow through your money. Well, I'm blowing it on drugs right now, too, no doubt. And, uh, for a while, I... If anybody watches last seven shit show nights, David is definitely on fucking drugs. No doubt. Where he's getting it from, I don't know. But, David, you're definitely on something, man. We're not dumb here, okay? Also, Corey Lyon commented, you people are used, used, used to regular watered-down church, church. That's why you can't take this. You don't know real kingdom. Corey Lemon. Lion, we're going to bring this cult down. It's, this isn't any kingdom of God or glory or any of that shit. This is a full-blown cult. David is, fits all the seven characteristic traits of a destructive leader. Look him up. I've looked up the psychology reports. I've looked up the research. David fits all the characteristics, man. I'm telling you. If you take those characteristics and you apply all seven of them to David, it, it shows. One of the characteristics shows right here. No, he basically thinks he's so great and that he doesn't have to answer to anybody so and then this just shows he thinks he's smarter than everybody uh, my salary was bigger uh, 70,000 a year but then I uh, 
cut that in half to about 30 to 27,000. Well, this reference for July 23rd, 2013, that says Will Marcia McDonald monthly save savings. Yeah, she's, she's over some of my personal affairs and taking things out and adhering to kind of some of the things I want done with my account. I so read homosexual. Yeah, the way he says homosexuals, it's, it's yeah. This uh, ministry, this is all personal. Then I don't have the ministry's budget. He's saying this is personal. You seem really, David, David, you are a liar. You are, you saying there are no bank records. You are a liar. There are digital bank records. Austin Jade, thank you for leaving this comment. You're on spot. I cannot handle the fact that they're denying that they have any bank statements or records. That's impossible. Fucking right it is, David. You, you guys are sitting here saying there's no bank statements. You're lying. And once the judge gets a hold of those and starts peeling apart your fucking scam, man, I hope they see through your lie and I hope they just throw the fucking book at you guys, man. That is what I am crossing my fingers for. The, that the judge picks your part and scam. If the judge finds out you're lying to him, David, you know what the judge is going to do? He's going to do exactly that. Get caught in a lie with the judge and the jury, dude, because you don't lie to the jury. It's You know who the jury is, David? Me. The channel followers. A jury of your peers. Not a jury of Christ or God. It's a jury of people like me. People that might have heard about you already. And the thing is, with this case up in the area, it's a good possibility that there might have to be a jury that's sequestered. You know, they might have, they might not have to know anything about, they're going to, that most likely, you know, <laughs> that's going to happen. They're going to ask if they know anything about the churches and the cases and, and shit like that to make sure they have a non-biased jury in this, no doubt. I've been sequestered for jury duty. Uh, it was a bullshit case. And I told, I pretty much told them that I was, some lady fell and she was claiming like emotional damages. And I was like, sorry, sir, I can't, I can't, I can't sit on this case. This lady's claiming emotional damage because she tripped and fell. You know, I was like, no, nah, sorry, I can't do it. I pretty much told him, I was like, I was in the military. Uh, she's talking about emotional damage. And I was like, nope, sorry, I can't do it. They called me in after the case and were like, that's a pretty bold statement. I was like, well, I'm sorry. I, I being honest, your honor, I'm not going to serve on a case like this. And they dismissed me. So again, David, a jury of your peers is a jury of your peers. It's not, it's not going to be Michelle and your cult. It's not going to be anybody from your cult. It is going to be a, ta it's going to be taxpayers, David. Taxpayers that you've been scamming, mind you, okay? Keep that in mind when you go to court. Oh, the ministry is in the back. I can see that now. Uh, so you're saying you personally... These first few let pages me, are sir, personal. Let me ask you a question. So you're saying that this entry of safe savings comes, that you previously identified as something for the ministry is actually your personal... Tyne Street from savings? England. You're welcome, man. Thank you for coming over here and following the channel. Hit that subscribe button, man. I try to keep everybody updated. And when you say when you come into money, you, say that you have a salary. That's the refer that's what you the term you use. When I come into money. No, no. When I get paid a paycheck. Okay. Do you understand what that means? About a paycheck. David, you're a fucking moron. To sit there and ask the lawyer, that lawyer makes more than you do. That lawyer sitting there is making more than you are could ever fucking dream of. That lawyer, lawyer is making more than you can scam, dude. This lawyer, David, will fucking chew you up and spit you out and fucking ask for fucking seconds and thirds on you, dude. You did not like being in this deposition. This was very bad for you. Very brilliant the way it was released and how it was released because now that Michelle's deposition is out and we have all these other channels up, David, we have people that know shit about logistics, about aircraft, saying there's no way you could afford that G5. There's no way. There's no way, David. Bullshit. That is a $65 million aircraft plus the maintenance fees on that shit. You're, you're out of your league, David. You are way out of your league. So any of the cult cronies that think he has that aircraft, he doesn't, okay? <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, that's Michelle's video. Yeah, she was heated on that one. Adam Muntean, thank you for stopping by and following the channel. Hit that subscribe, too. I've been reading your comments. And um, thank you. A paycheck. If I get a salary that's seventy thousand dollars a year, then what? Michelle was actually making seventy thousand dollars a year, and as in her deposition, but Michelle. Michelle's just the main concubine. That's all she is. Like she gets stabbed with David's holy rod, you know, whenever he wants. All the concubines in his cult, they all serve a, pur a certain purpose. Each one brings a certain purpose to David's. David's delusional 
fucking self-proclaimed prophet world. That's what they do. Each one serves a purpose. I was able to take more. Um, I don't know because we made adjustments. Uh, you don't know what you earned in 2013? Not, Here it comes, guys. I know I started cutting things in half, so I want to be accurate, but I can get all of that information for you. It's proprietary. <laughs> <laughs> David. Then he's like, it's proprietary. Like you had to fucking hide it from your lawyers because you knew the word you just said. That's going to be the next shirt, David. Thank you for that. It's going to be, it's proprietary. And you know what, Betsy Kobo? I'm probably going to fucking shoot it out to you, dude. So get with me so I can get your address. I'll get you a shirt that says it's proprietary, okay? Let me know, dude. Proprietary. What, yeah, proprietary. what do you mean by that? It's open. That's not what they should know. David, what proprietary means? It, what proprietary means is it's actually fucking secret information. I mean, you can't give that information out to anybody, and that's from ex members, ex cult members, survivors of your bullshit fucking cult have told me that's Michelle's favorite word, proprietary. Oh, that's proprietary. You can't say that. It's proprietary. This proprietary. That that word is shouted up and down your cult. Eyewitness account. Eyewitness statement. Told me. That is her favorite word. Oh, man, you know what I mean. No, no, I don't. That's what I'm... Then you have the fucking balls to tell her, oh, you know what I mean. And no, the lawyer doesn't know what you mean, David. When you're telling her it's proprietary, that shit means it's you cannot fucking pass that information off to anybody. You're trying to sound like a, bit, a fucking huge corporation. You're not, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because you defined it. So if you know what the sentence means, let's just move on. Let's not be children. Let's not be children. You tell the fucking lawyer that. And what's really cool about this, David, again, this deposition is not sliced and diced. The, the, the ticker is right there in the bottom corner. There's a court reporter. The court documents are out online. The court reports do not lie. I would love to see you go in and tell that court reporter that heard that the deposition was spliced and diced and that it was a lie. I, I dare you, dude. Um, I, I think that you understand what I'm trying to say. But no, I don't, sir. I, I everything is, uh, whatever I have, you can have. It's not a problem. Let's proceed with questions and answers. Fucked up right there because now you just said on record you could have what I have. So now you're, you're under oath, dude. You have you are under oath in this, and this is where I got pissed, David. If I was in this situation as a tax-paying citizen, I would be fucking shacked up, hauled out, and put in a fucking jail cell. But here, again, the whole thing with the churches is there is a very low fucking standard in America to be a church. The government wants to fucking regulate every other part of our life but church. You know why? Because it's all a fucking money-making machine for the government. Again, I don't... This is... Very few times I'll get political on my channel, but the church is a money-making machine for the government. They're all, they're all bought in and paid in by, by churches, you know? David is a bottom feeder of the Prosperity Ministries. Again, David... Benny Hinn, this is what he did. He fucking dropped his pants, right? Spread his butt cheeks open, and fucking David just kind of fell out of his rectum. Like, just fucking bleh. That's, how, that's where David Taylor came from. You have taken every playbook out of Benny Hinn's and used it. Rolling the R's, fucking blowing on people. I, I bet your fucking breast stinks too, man. If I was fucking blown on by you, I'd probably fucking die, so... That shit's gross. You're doing the same shit Benny Hinn did. Well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if there are uh, ministry ledgers produced or if it's just all personal. Well, if you really... I don't think you really had a chance to look at everything. No, I have looked at some, but not all. I love the way you flip through your papers too, David. Like, it, you know what the fuck is going on here, you know? You know, so I can kind of see you a little off about this because... This, these first um, few pages is personal. I'm sorry. And then down here is ministry. You repeat so yourself like three times right here. Together, but there's a part can that's you, personal um, and a part that's um, can you, um, twice. Uh, ministry. So. That was really cool. At this point, like they weren't even fucking talking to you, and you're just sitting there on the record. Oh, there's a part that's personal and a part that's ministry. You know, it's all it's all organized here. A part that's personal and it's a part that's ministry. You're gonna tell your lawyer one more time. See, there's a part that's personal, a part that's ministry. You and your fucking scraggly ass fingernails, too, dude. Okay, on this timestamp, guys, 1651. 
and like 15 seconds it was he mumbled he muttered something under his breath i don't know what the fuck it was i wish i wish i could hear but it, it's almost like he was muttering something Okay, it's 1651. Another one, guys. On this deposition, it's like he he was like fixing his mic, then he looks up at the camera, then he's like, like fucking shot a sh- shot the eyebrow up at the camera. Some, t- I don't know. That was really weird to me. It was like, ha ha. There's nothing you can fucking do about it. Almost like it was a. This is. It's obviously a fucking game to you, David. This is why we have these groups, David, is because of this right here, is because of your fucking nonchalant, just I don't give a shit attitude about the system when me, Cult Watch, Lord Pender, possible all these people that watch the channel are fucking taxpayers, hardworking, probably most likely abide by the fucking rules too. But here we have to pay for your fucking shit scam. You take from your city uh, funds by not paying your taxes. You take from your city civil services, fucks up your streets. You know, the money that you're scamming could be going to your city as, you know, as revenue to help the city, David. That's why you pay taxes, you sack of shit. Can you identify that document that's marked as Exhibit 2? It's a W-2. Yes. And what is it? It's a W-2. For whom? Me. Me. And your name is listed as what? David Taylor. The fact that you're confused about this W-2 and you can't even read your fucking name. Like, you look confused about the name. 2013. Okay, so from 2013 to 2017, David had amassed almost $12 million in wealth. Nothing, nothing has followed after that. The last W-2 or 990 was from 2017. Nothing follows. David has not filed his taxes since 2017, and yet he's claiming in to bring all this money, okay? Claims to have gotten a G5. Uh, Phantom Rolls Royce. I know for a fact that he's got a fucking stack of cars. I know that for a fact. Probably about 15 or 20 cars. All different styles, several... Exotic cars, Audis, Benzes, Range Rovers, you know, he's got some, um, he's got some Mercedes wagons, you know, shit like that. There's probably about 15 or 20 cars parked at the new mansion, all hours of the night cars going in and out. Okay. So there's some weird shit going on there and I'm surprised nobody's really picked up on what's going there. Okay. So from 2013 to 2017, he filed his taxes. I've looked in the IRS, data, IRS database, the information's there. But after looking even further into this, guys, this is what I found. I went, I went to the two state uh, interagencies. I went to Missouri and Michigan. Okay, what I found in the state of Missouri is that they actually tried to incorporate in February or something like that. It was, they were trying to do something, but it got denied, and nothing followed. And what it was denied for was something on a tax, a tax document in 2016 that had something to do that there was a conflict of interest with board members, family members sitting on the board, in your fucking cult, David, to make financial decisions for you. So there's paperwork. I've, I've gone through the different agencies to find the paperwork, and it's, it seems kind of like there's a lot of shady shit they were doing with filing names, fictitious names, doing quick claim deeds. Three quick claim deeds, guys, on one house. And it, it screams scam. It really does. We've, we've had real estate people come on here and tell us about quick claim deeds. One quick claim deed understandable definitely but to do a quick claim deed two or three times three four times david definitely shady and how much is the w-2 27k 27,000 even yes okay if i may have that so is it your testimony that this w-2 uh, that you've identified accurately lists your wages from joshua media ministry yes and that's who issued issued this w-2 who issued it? Well, Joshua, Joshua Media Ministry. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're saying from this twenty-seven thousand uh, dollar salary that reflects your salary? Yes. Yeah, but I think you probably yes. Okay. Speak the fuck up, dude. These, you you talk real soft here in the deposition. Why don't you fucking talk like that here, like you do on your stages and shit when you're calling people out? That you're calling people fucking pastors pussies and titty wearing panty pastors you know and all this other shit david i would love to see you talk like that here monthly all of us savings of thirty five hundred dollars 
plus is that every month hold on um that those savings came from your salary um well it depends on the money flow like if my bills are lesser or higher in each month i have more i can save so i don't know if you're looking at thirty-five thousand dollars every month do it say every month well, if, you, if you look at what i was referring to as page two That's Rick Frazier in the background, I believe. Pretty sure that's Rick Frazier. And that's, he, again, guys, I spoke to Rick Frazier. I FaceTimed with him for about a good hour earlier on this year in April sometime. Nice guy overall, you know, nice guy. Um, still ran a scam, good father, but just as guilty as all these fucking other pieces of shit in here. Sorry. That, he is. He, the fact that, you know, money's being made off of this and, you know, it's just, a, it, it really is a river of dirty money flowing through this place, man. It really is so much. And, uh, there's a bunch of, that's the thing. These inter, these interstate agencies, you know, IRS, you know, fucking the food stamp office, all these interstate agencies need to start connecting these dots. They're there. They just need to connect the dots and they're right fucking here. We've had accountants come out now and pick apart your shit, David. You can't lie from us, dude. You can't lie from this. Your deposition has gained so much notoriety now that there are people, professionals, David, certified, educated professionals, something that you are not, a certified, educated professional. You're a bottom barrel feeder. Um, Anna Montine, God has a special place in hell for this self-proclaimed fool. Yes, he does. Absolutely. David, do you think this group is going to hell? This group is bigger than you could ever think of, David. The good that the good energy that's brought into this group, pfft, try us, David. You can't fuck with this group, dude. You can't. It is beyond your control. This this group grew exponentially within the last year or two, David. Definitely. Your your deposition is now viral. It is now viral. Do you understand what that means? And Michelle Yours is going to be viral pretty fucking soon, too. So be prepared for that. You guys know what that means, right? The whole fucking world knows about who you guys are. You can't hide from that. You cannot hide from that type of exposure, David. You can't. Um, mainly for using his name in such a horrific manner and lead people to hell with him. Yes, that's exactly what you're going to hell for, David, is, again, guys, you guys know I am not religious. I do come from a religious family. My grandma was very devout Catholic. Um, so I do have my beliefs. David, this is wrong. What you do is wrong. Definitely wrong. You are way off the fucking course. You are way off the Bible. You, you, fit, you preach from all different sorts of... You th teach across like different three, three or four different religions, David, and make them to fit... You preach them to fit your fucking delusional self-proclaimed prophet world that you have created for yourself. And you're not a prophet, David. You are not a prophet. I promise you are that. I have never seen you walk on water, walk through walls. I want to see you walk on water. I have to see to believe. You understand that? So you are full of shit. First time listener, I love the way you think. Thank you, Anna Montine. It got to, I have to think quick on these toes with these assholes. You really do. Um, thank you for following the channel, though. We want people here like you to, it, this is a, a conglomerate group. It's not just me. It's not just Colt Watch. It's not just the other channels out there. It's, it's the energy of the group that is exposing this clown. It really is. It's the energy of this group. David, people have fucking filed fraud reports against you. I'm going to file another fucking fraud report against you on Monday, tomorrow. And Michelle, once I get some more information on your ass, I'm going to file a fraud report against you too. I am a tax-paying citizen. I have the right to. Everybody can go to the IRS website, irs.gov, file fraud report. You need the information. Let me know. I will give it to you. I will give you any information you need to file a fraud report against these people because they are running a full-blown cult ministry fraud scam. These need to stop. If, if the government's so big on regulating the rest of our lives, why the fuck aren't they regulating the church with these false prophets? 
Why? Good question, right? If they want, again, the, the requirement to be a church in America is the bottom of the fucking barrel. It, it is, there's like six requirements. It's, and it's shit requirements. Not a lot at all. You can run a non for profit and all this other religious shit. And like that accountant said, he is like, it is so, the, the, the requirement to be a church in America is so low that anybody could trip over and be a church. So, if, the church, if there's going to be church in America, then the government needs to step in and start regulating it properly and not letting these sacks of shit like David, Kenneth Copeland, Joel Osteen, uh, whoever the fuck ever is out there trying to run a, a prosperity ministry, those are the sacks of shit that need to be regulated heavily. I think all churches really should be re regulated as far as I'm concerned. They need to have their books open to the public no matter what because if we're donating the money, we should have every right and I'm sure there are churches out there that get, that give their congregation the right to look at their books. I'm not saying churches don't do it, but all churches should have that information absolutely public. You guys are serving the public. Churches are a public interest, whether you guys want to think so or not. The church is public interest. The public attends church. The public pays tithes to the church, and then they say, oh, we don't have to tell you how much money comes in? Bullshit. <laughs> Uh, July 23rd, 2013. Thank you, Anna. You take out $3,567.02. That seems like a pretty specific amount. It How is. would that be arrived at? You know, I'm, I'm, because she's over there. I Is really she don't, over that? Yeah, she's over this part of it. I don't know. I see what's being written here, but I really need them to help answer this. You know, do, do you have a, a bank statement that shows where that would have gone into? Oh, yeah, all of this. Can you, this will you produce your bank statements that we asked pursuant to the subpoena? Of course. Okay, okay, so now David just said under oath that he would produce the bank subpoenas. All right. Again, this isn't 2014. This isn't related to Harold Lewis. This is the deposition, but he is still denying the bank subpoenas in the Harold Lewis case. Okay. That, that case is still active. It is still going. The case, the jury trial will be in December. David, you are going to trial. The jury is going to be picked in, in November. Okay. Um, let's be clear. The bank statements you requested were those that reflected Stack of bank statements. I would love to see what's on those fucking bank statements. I'm going to see if I can FOIA those. I might not be able to because it's... I mean, they're, they're records, but I don't know if I'd be able to request those because... It, I know, David, we know you don't understand a fucking thing. You want everybody to think you don't understand, but David, you know every fucking dollar that's coming into that place, man. Which is why, again, you don't have your name on anything because you are going to file bankrupt most likely with JMMI. That's your next step most likely because you've already bankrupted one name. Again, guys, this is how these prosperity scams run. They bankrupt one name, go to another. Bam, bankrupt another, go to another. Burn in tax IDs, David. You've burned three tax ID numbers. Um, Nothing is listed on the IRS website for him now either. You can't find any tax ID number. Even through the state of Michigan and Missouri, where he tried to incorporate when I called and asked, when I called and axed, they were assholes to me. I was like, hey, man, this guy's running a scam. I'm trying to find his tax ID number. They're like, oh, well, we can't give it to you. That's private information. No, it's not, dude. He's, he's a public entity. Whoever, that guy, whoever I spoke to up at the state of Missouri, you know, David is a church. He's supposed to provide that information, and it's not publicly available. We have the right to know. This is a microprint. I'm trying to read something. <coughs> Look at uh, that page one of that that document we were reviewing before. Okay. Um, you know, Hit that like and subscribe, guys. Oh, Thanks for being here. Clear. Thanks for joining the fight with this. Um, I'm in until the end. I'll give my last breath to see this piece of shit put in jail. I gave you my word on that. Position exhibit three. It is. Part of what you handed me is the ledger, okay. and page numbers one through 
2011 that go from July 1, 2013 to... Shout out to Lord Pender, Apostle of David, David E. Taylor Comedy Channel. And do you see what I'm referring to? It starts with uh, beginning balance of July 1st, 2013. Donna Babel, shout out to you too. I've been seeing your comments a lot. Are you looking at that same document? Poked her with his glory rod. The top page. Okay. And where? I'm just trying to identify that we're all looking at the same thing. Okay. And it says... One thousand four hundred ninety-six dollars and forty-two cents. Yes. All right. Is this? This is Mark Joshua Weeks. Ministries, the it? most sense he's ever made. Gibberish. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is personal. Okay. So this is personal, and. Jack C. Bloom, JMMI as a gen in general is a scam run by a false lying people. Yeah. No. That's why we're here is to expose it because he's he's gone under the radar too long. This is, you know, he's he's. He is tearing apart families ultimately. That's what he's doing. He's ripping apart families right now. I have proof. I, I know for sure what's going on. Have People have contacted um, me in this. Um, give me a second. This is very... They, um, People have contacted me through this when they've had the... Like, there's been opportunities for a lot of people to contact other people in this. But I think because I put my face out there and that's why they contact me because they know David can't fuck with me because I'm out here like this. He can't, David. You can't fuck with me, dude. You can try all you want, but the fact that people have contacted me, and people have cut contact with me because of fear. Of fear, guys. Fear of breaking apart families. Fear of David. Fear of injury. Fear of reprimand, defamation, everything, guys. They are scared of David. The people that have come out of this and are, have survived this are scared of him. Actively stalked. Shit like that. You know, A lot of weird shit has gone on with this sack of shit right here. And, you know, this guy has to be stopped. This is enough. These, there has to be regulation on this shit, guys. Really. I mean, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. David, you are not fucking giving a people the right to a life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. You are running a full-blown fucking prosperity ministry scam. Small print. Yeah. Look at July 15, 2013. Again, Rick Frazier in the background. JMMI DES colon payroll. And then it lists your name and it says $5,000. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. And then. David knows how much money is coming in and out of his ministry at all times. His cult. I'm sorry. It is not a ministry, guys. It is a fucking full-blown cult. He knows every dollar. David, if you're taking in Cash App, PayPal, all that shit, that goes to a bank account somewhere. You know, and here you are up preaching when you're in, you're fighting a, a financial legal battle with Harold Lewis. But yet, about a week ago, you're up there saying, "Give me millions." You bought this G5. It was you're really contradicting the status of your cult, David. You say you have all this millions that you have a G5, but you need all this money, then you're coming out quickly, quickly. Tell me how much you're going to give. Text me now. How much are you going to give? Like that was your whole – David has steps of his – of when he comes out, he has steps how he, he, how he manipulates people to give him money. He has his little concubine crew come out and sing. Then he'll have you know his group. It's usually Ashley, Mariah, Steve, Tony, Joseph. But actually, Tony's in the media room, so it'll be Joseph – Steve, Ashley, and Mariah. Those are going to be the four people that are going to come out and actually, you know, beef him up and validate him, you know, and be like how great David is and all this shit that he's done. But at, he hasn't done shit, David. All you've done is leech off the system. So that's that's where we're at now with this is he is now – so he has them come out and preach. They'll come out and sing, preach, and then usually David will come out. And in the time, they're trying to sell off his books and all this bullshit in the, in the meantime – and then David will come out. He'll sing his fucking just horrible fucking voice. Think, David, you think you can sing? You can't, dude, okay? And everybody's on there like, how great you can sing, dude. You're horrible. But David, the world's laughing at you. We're laughing at you. I'm laughing at you. Everybody's laughing at you. And you think, we're, and you think nobody is, David, but we're all laughing at you, dude. Give this up. Apologize. Apologize publicly. I will take my channel down. And I will never say a word about David Taylor again. 
that's what I will do. Okay. Fair deal, David. Take, I want to see you put a video out. I want to see you renounce that you're, that you're a prophet because you're not. Okay. I'm not asking you to renounce God in any mean, would I? You need to renounce that you're a prophet, that you have never had any kind of miracles given by you. All that shit, David. Give back the money. I want you to start paying back the families that you fucking just tore apart and just shit on. All the people that you've ever destroyed mentally, emotionally, physically, you need to start paying amends to them. Uh, give back all the cars. Let all these people go home. Everything, David. I will take my channel down. The next page on date July 31st. Uh, let me see. There's a $5,000 line that says JMMI salary. Do you see that? Um, what is that? Okay. July 31st okay, on yeah, page 2. JMMI salary five thousand. Okay, and this I know for a fact David has taken money from somebody in this kind of recent within the last few years, couple years, five thousand dollars at a time, couple grand here, couple grand there, into his bank account. Left them, left these people with nothing. David knows how much money comes into his fucking bank account. Don't let him fool you. This guy knows every fucking cent that comes into that place. Yes, Rick Frazier was whispering the questions in her ear. He told me that that he was. So this is some of the information, guys, that I haven't put out yet. I talked to Rick Frazier. He told me this. He was sitting there in a the deposition. He did tell, he was telling Colleen what to ask, okay? This was shit I was really holding on to. I'm feeling good that I put that out. Yes, he was asking Colleen to ask the questions. It's not, it, it's not proper etiquette for him to do that. He's supposed to just sit there and shut his mouth. That's it. He, he can't tell the lawyer what questions to ask. It's not, Rick is not a lawyer. That's it. Rick is there as a, as just to witness the deposition. He paid to be there. He's paying for the video. He's paying for that. He is paid to be there. He can be there. All he can do is sit there and watch. And I'm sure there's some things he can point to about the questions. Again, I know for sure he can't be telling the lawyer what questions to ask. And he, he did, guys. He did. You're asking me the questions. So that's not accurate. Your client, he's showing me what line. I can hear him. I'll place the same objection. That's he's directing right. the deposition. He's directing the questions. He's conducting the inquiry. That's your job. He was. He was, guys. That's that was a gut punch for me when I found out that he was because, again, every all the people in this whole case are fucking guilty as far as I'm concerned. There's a river of fucking dirty money with this. The one that's ultimately getting fucked out of this whole thing is Harold Lewis. At this time of the deposition, guys, he was moving. He was he was running. He was just starting the Harold Lewis scam. He was just starting the Harold Lewis scam. And again, fuck that deal off. Now he he fucked off another deal, most likely. So. He's in a, a court case now, again, with Harold Lewis. So, David, your, your behavior is, you know, it, we're, it's repetitive, David. One Demetra Brown, I wonder, I wonder what's really up with all the blinking. That's like, I think that's like narcissism, lying, you know, that's him. That's like a comfort thing. Like, I, I don't know. Body language tells me that's the, the blinking. That's he's fucking just lying, you know, like that's his way of. Maybe he thinks all the blinking will show that he's not lying. Like, I'm not lying, you know? But, David, you're fucking lying, dude. You're, you're a compulsive liar. So is Michelle. Your whole group is a compulsive liar. They are, you have embellished them. You have, you have indoctrinated them in this own secular world that you've created. You are in a secular world, David. You're living in a totally secular world where you, what you have created. You have created this world, David. You have. You and you alone, and you are not a prophet. You are not an apostle. You are a lying, scam artist, self-anointed, just con artist, degenerate. That's all you are, David. You are nothing. You haven't you haven't done anything to help the system, help poor people on your ta on the 2017 tax return. You know that accountant picked it apart, and the fact that you only gave 73,000 in charitable contributions, and you brought in almost four fucking million. That says a lot. 
and your office expenses, how that was a lot, you know, it, 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 you're, you're up, dude. Your scam is up. August 15th, 2013, the line says Joshua Media Ministry, same thing, DES, I don't know what that means, payroll, David Taylor, and it's another $5,000. Um, five thousand dollars for uh, payroll. Okay. Now, would you acknowledge that's a payroll? No, the quick purge is all gone. Yeah, but some of this, the way they they have this factored in here, is I get housing allowance under the um, the ministerial thing. The ministerial thing, you stupid fuck. This is, again, why we're here, David. This, you make other people, other men like you look fucking dumb, dude. The ministerial thing, then you tell the lawyer, oh, you need to go search tax law and church tax law. You don't even fuck the, fucking know the church tax law yourself, dude, which is probably a good idea that you should, or you would have been in the situation, David. You know. I mean, the ministerial thing, I don't know yes. what that means. Yeah, you, well, you have to study, like, uh, church law tax law she's a fucking say. lawyer dude but, but the, the thing is uh at one time they were just giving me the total payroll check of five thousand i think um every semi-weekly and you're I was probably paying, scamming that from people um, david that's probably that, where that money was going um, the, you know all the expenses so you now instead you're... of it just going instead let, of the let me ask you a payment, question yeah you were receiving five thousand dollars in salary checks. It looks like twice a month. Mm -hmm. Is that yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, ten grand a month he was receiving. Compensation for Joshua Media Ministry. Not paying on the building so and JMMI. Yes. Okay, so he's receiving ten grand a month, right? So he doesn't pay on the JMMI building in Taylor. All he pays is the public service fees and shit like that. You have to pay to the city. That's it. It's like water fees, trash, shit like that. You know, public service fees. Very low rate. Um, does not have to pay taxes on that building. I looked up the tax, the recent tax history. I think the last time they paid taxes, it was like thirteen dollars for the year, guys. It wasn't much at all. That, that same year, your W two shows what was it, twenty uh, seven thousand dollars? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you see a discrepancy between? No objection to the form of the question. He's answering the question because of his building, but he's not a CPA. I didn't finish no. the question. Then David says, discrepancy. "Right, David, this is what makes you so." so famous it really is just the fact that your narcissism in this deposition that you just think you're better and smarter than everybody in this look where you're at now dude you have so much pressure on you you can't even come out and do your live fucking sermons anymore dude you have so much pressure on you you were at your jam in my building recently we know that i know that for sure okay i'm not dumb i know your movement patterns i do okay uh you were there and she and the lawyer his lawyer is right, ultimately. He's not an accountant. He shouldn't know shit about his taxes. But, David, you have to sign your tax returns. And under perjury of law, you have to know what's put on your tax returns, dude. If I signed my tax returns and didn't know what the fuck was on them and I got audited, dude, that's perjury, man. Again, I don't, again everybody in this that's seeing the perjury that you don't know about your tax returns and all this shit going on, this is perjury big time, David. You have to sign these. These are legal federal documents. Every taxpaying fucking citizen has to sign I have to sign. The lawyer has to sign. Your lawyers have to sign. Everybody signs up, David, who pays taxes. These are federal binding documents, David, and you lied on them. No, you interrupted me. Okay. Like, I didn't finish the, the rest of my sentence. Charlotte Ann commented, I wish, I, oh, I wish you were the judge. Um, I would have saw right through his shit. Do you believe that the, the uh, W-2 is consistent with... This ledger that shows you were paid uh, $5,000 twice a month? Objection calls for speculation. He's not an accountant. He's not an accountant. He yeah, he's not. He's but, not he, but he knows how much money is coming into his cult. You can guarantee that. Person. He knows every this single fucking general. cent that comes in there, guys. Don't let him fool you. you have specific questions for the financial uh, team or the CPA, then you can contact them and schedule a deposition. He's answering to the best of his ability. Okay, he can still answer the question. Th this is your personal ledger. Uh, is that right, sir? Yeah, but I'm not. No, I'm not shut up. Just, all you got to do is answer yes or no. Personal ledger. David, this is the part where you just shut up and answer yes or no. Okay, do you get that? This is how a deposition works. And this is what's great. 
She just tells him, hold up, yes or no. Reflecting your finances. Yes. That you provided pursuant to the subpoena, pursuant to this deposition and a court order. Yes. Okay, and you're now saying you don't, what, understand why it lists $5,000 twice a month? Because I don't handle the finances. You don't handle your own finances? But you still have to sign your tax returns, David, and you have to know the numbers on there are correct by law, under perjury. We don't have people who do that for me. So when you get a salary check, you 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 have no idea anything about it? I know I've set up a, a team that does it for me. And so I Your team being Michelle. Your team being Axe Michelle. Everybody fucking call and ask for the bank account because apparently Michelle says you can call and get the bank account for their bank. So will you... Um, present Michelle Brannon for a deposition so that she can answer these questions more accurately? Um, what do you feel? Well, you're the lawyer. If you want to subpoena her for a deposition... I'm asking if he's... You and your fucking scraggly ass nails, David. Uh, what do you feel? If you he looks over at the lawyer he's like, like, what do you feel? Michelle ended up getting deposed. And now if we put the two depositions together and we fucking put all the lies together, all the paperwork... All the money, all the all the IRS needs to do is find the bank accounts, get up with Ashley Ware, LaMarcia, Angel, and Bashira, Michelle, and David. Put them all in the same room and start questioning them. That would be that would be the wisest thing to do. Once they catch them all in the light, just start locking them up. That would be the right thing to do. Okay, you're arrested for fraud. You're arrested for fraud. You are now arrested for launder, money laundering. You are now compl- uh, an ass- <laughs> You are now associated with this crime, so guess what? You're locked up now, too. Uh, let's see. Michelle Jones, I see David pop by with his dislike. Yep, he stops in and watches my videos, Michelle, no doubt. Prophetic Hippo, your comment got ghosted, but I can still see it. I'm going to fucking read it because I think this is golden. David E. Taylor is a piece of shit, and I hate to say this, but his mother should have swallowed. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No, Matt, Steve, is Ashley the tall, gorgeous, blonde girl that stands on the stage? Yes, that's Ashley. She's also apparently got a kid up in this cult, and so does Rebecca Stalker. She has a couple kids up in this cult, and that probably fucking need to get the fuck out. David should buy them some new socks with millions, with his millions, yep. No, Matt, Steve, best comment. Wouldn't it be great if Michelle was stringing him along, and once she got everything in her name, she said, fuck you, David, it's all mine. Do it, Michelle. You can, really. David doesn't have anything in his name except the 2008 Victory Way Lane apartment, which is a shit apartment. Michelle, the house is in your name. Take it. Take it. You fucking walk away scot-free with a nice fucking 11-acre mansion. But how would you keep up on taxes with it? You'd have to get a job. But you probably wouldn't be able to get a job anywhere because your deposition is now on the Internet. And people would know that you're a fucking liar just like David is and that you were complicit in running this money laundering scam. Who would want to hire somebody like that? This is white collar crime, Michelle and David. When you get white collar crime like this, this shit stays on your record, man. This is fraud. This shit just doesn't fucking go away, man. And what you do by committing fraud is you destroy people's lives too. By taking money out of fucking people's banks account, bank accounts and shit, you destroy people's lives. And serve her with the numbers. So you're not going to produce her voluntarily. David says no, he's not going to serve, not produce her voluntarily. So apparently she fucking got this fucking subpoena and had to show her ass up to the deposition because Colt Watch released it on their channel. Again, put the two depositions together, guys. That's what we needed. These two depositions together, they they lock everything into place. They they put all the holes in the Swiss cheese, I guess. You know, I don't know. The two depositions together is they... It just shows the, the complicit and how they passed the buck to each other. Michelle now passed the buck off to Ashley. And I'm sure David yeah, went back awesome. and told Michelle, hey, just tell him to ask Ashley and, you know, just push it off. Pass the buck off. Don't worry about it. Just tell him to ask Ashley or ask Bashir or ask Angel, you know. Pretty sure that's what happened in this case. David said, hey, it's a legal answer and just tell him to ask them. Here he goes with a little sip of the bottle water. Then it was like after that whole objection, David sat there and like he was the fucking man and that he had, like just because that objection got it, it was like you won. David, you you have not won, dude. You are far from it. Your 
smacking of the lips right there, dude, is fucking disgusting. I get grossed out every time I see it. And man, your haircut. Dude, your haircut, like, when you look down, everybody, you could just see this big fucking rowdy, shitty, like, where I want to take a shit bald spot. I'm going to show you as marked as deposition exhibit number four, which is the 990 form from the Department of Treasury for the return of an organization exempt from income tax, which you are being presented to me today. Can you identify that? Oh, I just, I'm sorry. Can you identify that as the return for JMMI? Yes. Lord Pender, right. loving your and videos, dude. That is great, Tony. Fix this. Fix the sound. Hey, stop tapping on that mic. Right there. Um, on page 11 of this tax return, can you read... Line one. Across, please. I read I love your comments. They're great. Yes. One. No, read, read what it says across the whole line. Oh, David Taylor, CEO. Okay. CEO. And, and then what's the next? Uh, $40. $40? It's 40 hours, you stupid fuck. Like, the fact that you say, David, you have no business running an organization like this. You'd be better off flipping burgers at fucking McDonald's because you'd get at least half off your fucking burgers after your fucking shift. They'd probably fire you because you'd be eating all the fucking burgers, really. Or 40, yeah, $40. That's, okay, read what's above it and then well, okay. All right. Um... Average hours per week. List any hours for related organizations below dotted line. And what does it say below that? Forty hours or forty. Okay. Refer representing you never work forty hours a day in your life, hours. David. Never. Yeah, you don't guess. do shit but okay. fucking scam the system, and man. What's the next block? Um, position. Do not check more than. Y'all make sure you hit that like and subscribe, man. Thank you for being here, first of all. Um, and what's listed below that? I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up here. We have five or ten more minutes. Kind of close it out a little bit. Director, officer, No, I, I'm sorry. I'm, what I want you to do is to indicate where it's marked by an X as being applicable to you. Okay. Let's say hi to the new subscribers too, actually. individual trustee or director. Tyne Street, thank you. Key employee and highest compensated employee. Okay, and then under subdivision D, a couple new ones the other day. tell me what that says and what's reported for you. Joy Fitzgerald, thank you. Thank you for joining the channel. Reportable compensation for the organization, uh, 118,000, $916. So JMMI Ministries, Reported your income on their tax return is 119,000. Um, you know, I can't answer accurately. David, your grammar in English is just horrible. Accurately, it's accurately, okay? Accurately. Speak proper, please, dude. At least do that for us. <clears throat> About this, but I do know that all of this is not just personal income it's um uh allowances that go to other things that go to other things then what are the allowances david where's all the money going you haven't filed since 2017. that's the last time you filed taxes david you are a public you're supposed to be a church you're supposed to open up your books right and let people see your books dude but we all know everybody we all know david taylor is running a full-blown cult prosperity just ministry wannabe benny hen profit scam that's it nothing more nothing less so anybody that's out there that is thinking about actually going and being with this guy do not do it don't do it um nothing good nothing good will come out of this nothing good michelle you should get the hell out dude get the hell out Nothing good is going to come out of this. Your name is now in everything, Michelle. 
if if the fucking if the government comes knocking, you know who they're going to come looking for? The person that has the signatures on all the paperwork, which is you now. You got it on the Kingdom of God Global Church. David moved all the assets out of his name. He doesn't have anything in his name now, guys. As far as I know, um, the JMMI that's kind of been disbanded. And again, that's how these prosperity ministry cults work. They jump from name to name. They bankrupt names. He you tonight on the um, third night. And that's, that's what they do. They, they jump from name to name tax number to tax number and just keep bankrupting these they keep bankrupting names that's that's the mo of most of these prosperity ministers what i've what i've dug into except kenneth copeland he hasn't bankrupted anything you know and that's that's my holy grail kenneth copeland that sack of shit that 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 guy's been allowed to operate that fucking long and fly under the radar he, what he's done is he's turned his non-for-profit into a for-profit business he took money from his church and then bought land, cattle, gas lines, all that shit. Kenneth Copeland's a fucking sack of shit, too. Then he's fucking flying around in private jets. David, you're a wannabe like them, too. You know that, right? Like, you'll never, you will never be a Kenneth Copeland. You'll never be a Joel Holstein. You will never be any of those, David. Ever. Keep dreaming, dude. And the fact that you had the balls to come out and say you got a gold stream the fuck out of here, man. We know you can't afford it. David... The yearly operating cost alone you wouldn't be able to afford. Just the operating cost. And again, to buy a fucking plane like that, David, you know the kind of banking information somebody would want to see? They would want to make sure that you could fucking afford that plane, man. Those planes aren't cheap, dude. Those are top-of-the-line aircraft, man. You'll never get one. Same with that Phantom Rolls Royce. You, you're never going to have that. that. That picture was actually, if you look at it, it was fucking taken over in like some Middle Eastern country. If you look in the background, it's a dead giveaway, David. That picture was not taken anywhere in America, dude. That's just you took that picture off the internet somewhere and fucking photoshopped it, had your media team fucking throw it in there, you know. You you do not have that Phantom Rolls Royce. There's no way. So they were at first giving me money, but we were paying all what the ministry was supposed to pay under that code of ministry standards. So I think our CPAs taught them a, a more accurate way to do it. And so I think um, accurate. Um, there was some kind of change. So I don't, I don't know. I can't accurately speak, but I think you, you would need to talk to my financial board because they all of this is um, accurately written down. So she's contradicted yourself, saying it was wrong, saying it wasn't accurately written. Then you say it's accurately fucking written, David. Totally contradictory. Just fucking got caught in a lie. You're full of shit, dude. Like this, this deposition, David. Again, this is why we're here, David. Is because of this deposition, this one deposition, this one deposition, David, has spawned a bunch of channels because everybody sees what a piece of shit you are, dude. Everybody sees this scam you've been running. Everybody's probably dug into your life a little bit. Find out who you are. Who's this David Taylor? And it's just like he kind of came out of the fucking, you know, the gutter somewhere, man. Out of Taylor, Michigan. Just fucking crawled up out of the gutter, out of Benny Hinn's butthole and fucking, ooh, David Taylor all of a sudden. Anybody seen the earlier video of David Taylor when it was like when he first came out, you know, you were just as fucking narcissistic and delusional then as you are now. It's, it's even worse, David. You need, you need psychological help. That's what you need. You are not a prophet. You need intense psychotherapy, David. That's what you need. You, you, your whole delusional world that you've created is dangerous. You are destructive. And you have no business being in the position you're in as a church, a church leader or as a pastor. You have no business there. You've never been or <laughs> you've never even gone to any kind of fucking theology training, David. Don't you think that's important? Theology? You know, to be in the position you're in. But all of a sudden, you're just this fucking prophet and that God has come down and talked to you. Doesn't happen, David. It'll never happen to you. God doesn't even know who you are. Actually, God does. He fucking forgot about you, though. That's the thing. He kicked you under the fucking table when he made you and fucking forgot about you, never found you. That's what you are, David. God forgot about you. He fucking dropped you and kicked you under the table when he made you. And that's, we're stuck, we're stuck with you now. And that's the shitty thing. We have to sit here and watch as you scam people and destroy people's lives, David. But 
the group is big now. We're not going to let you destroy anybody's life from here on out. Um, the next life you're probably going to destroy is Michelle's because you have now put all the blame on her. And from there, if anybody's going to come knocking Michelle, it's now going to be for you. So be prepared for that.